a hot sauce guitar kitchen. No, the hot sauce addendum cigar boxes guitar kitchen presents what's in your wine box no captain get it captain get a different shot there <laughs> five four three two one what's in your wine box good job captain Mike. put that, that camera closer to that the top I need to get the shot with me, not in the shade, the uh, shadow, not in the shot. Ready? Let's try this again, dude. Hold on, tighten up. What's in your wine box? the most interesting man's getting ready to make a statement. Um, okay, three, two, one, quiet game. Stay thirsty, my friends. Or is that Santa Claus? It's not funny. Why are you guys laughing? Bam! Yo, so here it is. These are these boxes. Hot sauce, cigar, box guitar, kitchen. Yo, so you got to go pawing through the videos, but if you look through there, I don't know what they're called because it's like I did a bunch of them, but there's two of them that were at Lucky's where I did a, a like an art event. My like Those are some of my first couple of uh, bending actually. So there was a person there that saw some of my work and then reached out to me recently and said they had found some boxes somewhere i'll get my story straight here and said they would like to donate them to the hot sauce cigar box guitar kitchen so i'm heading back over to lucky's which is also highly curious and ironic because my very 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 first video was me quitting lucky's which was, was the reason why this whole video thing started, was quitting Lucky's because of that mask. And I will forever be aggravated by that. So if you watch the very first video of this on this channel, that was me quitting Lucky's um, in protest to the mask mandates. And then the rest of it sort of unfolds from there. So I'm going there now to meet this person who's gonna give me some boxes, so. began I was just working at Lucky's part-time because the wife's got the dream job I mean I got the dream job right some stay-at-home dad caregiver taxi cab driver oh look fire pizza oven more specific I was the produce guy I like produce dude okay let's just go in here with the head I'm supposed to meet this dude here in a few minutes, but I'll run in here with the But see right over here, produce. This was my jam right here. Here, I was him, or these two. I don't know if they want to be on camera. Maybe I'll edit that part out. And then the whole idea here was turning the uh, fruit over and culling it if it's yucky. Is this bad? I don't know. I'm not doing it. But it was a super fun part time job. It didn't pay like anything. I'm not dissing lucky if I'm just saying it didn't pay anything. And there's no chance of getting a raise ever. Look.
This section right here warms my heart. Yeah. Monkeys that goes a hang. There's some PB. Bam! Yo, so here it is. These are these boxes that this guy was telling me about. Look at this. So we're gonna go through here. We're gonna go through this whole, but I'm not gonna do it right here on camera. So this is the gentleman right here. This is Don. And Don, tell us quick, tell the, the audience real quick. We're all a bunch of cigar box guitar builders and enthusiasts. What inspired you to reach out to me and say, I got these boxes for you? Well, like I said, I met you here a while back. You were doing a little art festival and I loved your guitars. It was right over there. And then, you know, we were cleaning out a relative's house. We found these boxes and I said, I can't do anything with them, but I think I know who somebody, somebody who can. Well, thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it's super cool, man. Thank yeah. you so much. Hot Sauce Cigar Boss Guitar Kitchen, without further ado, presents What's in Your Wine Box. Much better. I'm not sure if I did that uh, original wine box I did, but I did a stand-up bass wine box. I'll try to find a picture of it. Stand-up bass wine box for a guy I worked for at Lucky's. He was a, a banjo claw picker. He played multiple instruments, but I think at the last I talked to him, he was really into learning how to play claw hammer or claw hand or something. So I went to Lucky's today to pick up these, which, dude. And then while I was there, I picked up this wine box. Some for nesting boxes for the chickens, but then I thought, yeah, if you have a top, this is the only one that came with a top. And these ones you can do fun stuff with. Either make little mini amps or whatever, but that's not why we're here, this. What? No, dude, I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. He, Richards wants me to, no, he wants me to push all this out of the way and invite a drummer over here to rock out. I don't rock out no more, Richards. Okay, I craft barbecue games, no more. 
Hey, dude, what? Now this this goes beyond post rock, post rock. Dude, that's the flavor of the year. Listen, this is this goes beyond post rock. And now I'm not doing it right now, but I'm not aggravated with you, Richard. You just want to. Did you dig it? Keep oil in your lamps, my friends. Watch and pray. So that was super awesome. I picked up boxes from this dude, Don. Then I went back here and talked to the dude, Dwayne, who was here when I was here like three years ago, four years ago. And uh, he gave me a bunch of wine boxes. So boom, hyped. <laughs>